painting red rat rod rims. Say that three times fast. So this is the paint I'll be using, the self-etching primer, and it's a nice filler primer fit for sanding. And then the other one for the top coat is gonna be this enamel automobile paint. Basically, it's just a red gloss paint. It looks kind of like this. So what I'm doing right now, as you can see in here, is like the rim, if I clean that off, you see the black on my hands? I'm actually sanding it down with scotch Brite, and I'm just giving it a key. It's a quick little key. You can see here, just like that, nothing special. Just a little bit of all over, just so that when I do the priming of this, because it is already primed, that uh, it'll have something to bite into. And then on top of that, because I'm going to be painting it with uh, a gray primer, which will help because it's a primary color I want to use, which is red. And uh, if I paint it with just a black, it'll be a darker red, which isn't a big deal. But if I give it a nice key on here, I want to add to the protective layer of the paint. And this is a primary color red, nothing special, but it's stage, one stage paint, no clear coat, nothing special. But it's going to be a nice fire engine red. So I'm going to get to uh, painting this. So before I get to painting this, I want to clear off any of the uh, debris, any of the, um, what do I call it, um, oils that are in here. And I'm going to be wearing gloves and whatnot. Do this in a well-ventilated area. Wear a respirator if you need to. And um, this is uh, your isopropyl alcohol. Sometimes I'll use acetone. Kind of, it evaporates quicker. It'll clean it up better. So I'm going to get to wiping this down. the rag, wipe it down, you know, kind of get it so it's nice and clean, so it can accept the paint that we're going to be using on it. So I'm going to keep doing this, get this all nice and clean, and you can see here, as I wipe it, it evaporates. So we're going to clean all the oils off and stuff, and get all this all gone, and then I'll be going to prime it, and then after that we'll be painting it. So when you're done, it should be like this. Nice even coat. You can go a couple more coats if you wanted to. This has already been primed once, so this is good enough. Did I need to uh, prime the inner part of the wheel or rim? No, and that's probably why I didn't care about the, the sticker there. This is only a spare tire. This is not actually going on my truck. So for me, just painting this up here and then painting a couple coats of red, perfect. So I've already started painting, and you just kind of, like I was like I was already previously doing. Oops, there we go, face the right way, yeah. There we go. Just nice, even coats. We're not gonna get it covered completely first go around. Gonna be over spray, all sorts of things. And same thing for inside. See how I did there? Where the uh, ear was over sprayed? Because I paused as I was coming back and forth. So it's nice. And then keep moving.
Let's keep moving. Hands getting tired. But you guys get the idea. And before you know it, you're able to have covered for the first coat over everything. Now I'm not too worried about runs. I'm not too worried about having perfect paint. This is a spare tire that I'm just jazzing up, so to speak. So that being the case, it doesn't have to be perfect. My truck doesn't have to be perfect. But this tire is a rat rod red, old school style. And that's the way I like it. Anyways, hope this quick little paint tip video for slapping together some red paint onto a already primed clean rim does you a little bit of justice. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. Peace.